Another one will be role playing dimension. Okay, this role playing dimension is nothing but the so any dimension table, any dimension table is acting as a multi role. It's acting as a multi role means I'm going to explain with example. I'm taking the new one. Okay, for example. Take the sales demo, sales only guys. Sales only. Fact underscore sales. What there here? Product ID. If you want, take the all the keys. Product ID. Customer ID. I am going to take the order date. Okay, or ship date, deliver date. Okay, or quantity, how many quantity or amount. So like that, I'm going to take the example. Okay, so here will be the how many dates are there? One is the order. Whenever your place the order, that date will come under the order date. Ship date whenever you are shipping from you are delivering the product. That date it will come whenever you start the shipping. So delivery date means whenever it is reached to the customer, that is the delivery date. Okay. Now I am going to take a dimension table. So here will be date ID will be there. Date ID day or something values are there. Now if I want to calculate, I want to calculate. So how many orders placed today? And today how many orders are placed? How many transactions happen? How many play, uh, customers are happen, uh, sh uh, given the orders? Then what I have to do? I am going to give a join order date to date ID. Right? I am going to give a even join between the date ID to order date. Then I am going to find out on particular day this many orders are it came. Like that I am going to calculate. So the same day I want to find out the how many are we shipped. Then what I am going to do? The day, same day I am going to give the date ID to ship ID. So like that. See? So same dimension table is acting as a order date. The same date ID is acting as a shipping date. Same date ID is acting as a delivery date. Means so it's acting as a multi role here. Okay. It's acting as a the dimension table is acting as a multi role. So these kind of dimensions we call as a role playing dimension. Okay. The dimension table is acting as a multi role in a table, in a fact table. Those kind of dimensions we call as a role playing dimensions. Okay. A table with multiple valid relationship between the between itself and another table is known as a role playing dimension. The, this is most seen in the dimension such as the time. Clear guys, for example, the sales fact is multiple relationship to the time time query subject on the keys, order date, ship date, close date, something like that. Clear guys, the dimension table is acting as a multi relationship with the fact table or any other table. So that kind of dimensions, that kind of uh, tables we call as a that kind of dimensions we call as a role playing dimensions. Clear guys. So this example will be date dimension. Most of the time it will come the date dimension is a role playing dimension. So dimension table is a confirmed dimension, dim uh, dim dimension, dim date, dim date is a also a role playing dimension. Clear guys? Any doubt here? Of role playing dimension. So it act as a multi multi roles, multi relationship. With the another tables, one table dimension table is a, any relationship will be multiple relationship. With the another table, that table is called as a role playing dimensions. Any doors guys here? Now till now the confirmed dimension. Any doors? Okay. 
So here the most sir, of the sir can you explain me what is the difference of a confirm mode and role play sir? Yeah, different between. Yeah, yeah, sure. So confirm dimension is nothing but the the dimension table is going to use in more than one fact table. Means the same dimension table, I'm going to use the inventory fact or purchase order fact. This is a PO PO table fact PO. Okay, fact PO. Fact PO, or this is the inventory. Fact underscore inventory. Okay, here data ID is there. Data ID is there. Here also data ID is we, we, on which day we are going to give an order. Something like that. Okay, or you can take the product dimension. I will I will show the difference between the Role playing and product shadow, product dimension. Okay, this is the product dimension. Product dimension. Okay, here product ID is there. Product ID. So here also product ID is there. Here the product ID is there. Inventory. Here also product ID is there, okay. But so this product ID we call as a confirmed dimension. Why? Because this product dimension we are going to use into the sales table. We are going to use in the product table. We are going to use into the fact table, fact table, PO table, purchase order table. Means the Dimension table we are going to use in multiple fact tables, more than one fact table. Those kind of dimensions we call as a confirmed dimension. But what is the difference? Uh, what is the role playing dimension? The dimension table with multiple relationship with the fact table. Here the product is a product only one relation. There is no other relation with the fact table. Here also only one relation. Here also only one relation. But you can see here. This date ID column is a three relations are there. Three columns is going to rela related here. Multi role is acting. Three relations are there. Date ID to order date. Date ID to shipping date. Date ID to delivery date. It's so a three relations. These kind of dimensions we call as a role playing dimension. But this is not the role playing dimension because of the. It's not acting as a multi role here. It's so a only single relation with the sales table. Single relation with the inventory table, single relation to the product table. Sorry, in PO table. Clear? Yes, sir. That is the difference between the role playing dimension and then confirmed dimension. So, confirmed dimension is more than one fact table. When whenever we are going to use the more than one fact table, that dimension we call as a confirmed dimension. But role playing dimension is a table is a is acting as a multi relations multi multi Relation in the another table. Those kind of tables we call as a role playing dimensions. There are multiple relations are there. In this, with a single table, with multiple relations. Okay, this is will come under role playing. This also is a confirmed dimension because the data ID we are going to use sales table. Here we are going to use here. We are going to use here. So this also is a confirmed dimension also. Role playing dimension and confirmed dimension both will be time time dimension. Clear, guys. So, confirmed dimension is like is a chain dimension, right, sir? Not chain dimension. So, what is meant by chain dimension? Do uh, you have any idea? Um, I didn't hear that uh, word. It's related to one dimension to another dimension, so it's like that. Sir. That is the attribute. That is the relationship. Yeah. That is the no flex. So, here the confirmed dimension we are talking about the the dimension table is a. Relation with the another fact tables more than one fact table, not the dimension tables. Okay, whenever we have the yeah. relationship between the more than one fact table, if you more than one dimension table, that is not a confirmed dimension. Whenever the relation with the more than one fact table, okay, more than one fact table, not the dimension tables. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so these are the most of the data warehousing concepts, guys. 
so we can see the questions so what is data versing i explained what is data mart i explained so ods i have to explain okay one is one one is pending so you know the differences also data versing data mart i am going to share today so you can able to just go through this guys what is the difference in the oldp olap olap ods data versing ods oldp data versing data versus data mart so i am going to share this document today okay these three will come under now it will cover what is the dimension table we know dimension tables and types of dimension just now we discussed what is fact table we know fact what is a fact and describe the types of facts we know additive fact semi additive and non additive what is factless fact table oh this one also we have to discuss okay two topics what is confirmed dimension we know what is lookup table we know surrogate key also i explained but i uh, one more time i'm going to explain in the etl side jing dimension so dimension modeling so nothing but the star schema and then snowflake schema so difference between the normalization denormalization okay i'm, I'm going to take separate class this one s series we know type 1 type 2 type 3 hierarchies we know the hierarchy what is that mean hierarchy is nothing but the relation between the one attribute to another attribute is nothing but the hierarchy okay that we are going to see into the dimension table snowflake schema okay so now two topics are pending one is the ods one is the factless fact table okay ods i am going to explain now where is the architecture yeah so ods is nothing but the operational data store okay ods is a full name full form is the operational data store okay this also is a kind of data warehousing guys it's a kind of data warehousing data warehousing but it's not is a data warehousing it's a kind of data warehousing ods operational data store why it's not the data warehousing means data warehousing what i told it's a non volatile data whatever the data we entered into the source to target so that data we can't able to do any manipulations if you want 10 years data we can able to maintain the 10 years data here a 20 years data we are going to maintain but come to the ods is a volatile data whenever you want you can do the modifications here on the ods side means modification means for example take the big companies infosys or ibm tcs whenever you apply the fresher or any experience whenever you apply the their portal for job so what happens is not cleared that interview so you will get a mail you will get a mail so it's not clear so please try after 3 months or 6 months again mean they are going to store your profile into 3 months or 6 months right if you have again apply also within the within the time so it will be duplicate they can't schedule because of the already you attended the interview so it's not clear so you have to wait up to 6 months your profile will be stored into their database correct right? within the 6 months you can't able to again with the same number same mail id you can't able to attend the interview because they already stored your information in the their portal okay so after 6 months they can't go and delete for everyone automatically is going to delete the data again after 6 months or 3 months again you can apply able to apply you will get the calls for that company the same way here also the ods whatever the data we are going to for example mid, mid companies are there mid organizations so they don't they can't bear that much the size all those things i don't want their business will be 10 years or 15 years i want to analyze my data from last 5 years every time i want i'm going to analyze my data in the last 5 years data only i want to analyze or 3 years i want to analyze okay i don't want the more than 3 years data to store into my data warehousing my my data my target table so in that case they are going to go for the ods means after 3 years complete automatically the last day will go into remove data automatically you no need to do anything that year data is going to remove always they are going to maintain the only 3 years data so other than that everything will be same only guys ods is nothing but the same only so this is also subject oriented this also integrated this also time variant 
only thing will be is a volatile data here the non volatile data other than that both will be same data warehousing and ods both are the same it's kind of the data warehousing but it is going to store the only it is the data will be in volatile here will be non volatile that is the only change between the ods and data warehousing the remaining everything will be same okay here data is going to volatile here the non volatile that is the only one change ods and then data warehousing so one more topic will be there factless fact table so that i am going to explain in the next class okay factless fact table and then we start the we are going to start the sql guys